In this second part of my vlog, I'll be visiting Luzerne and discuss the highs and lows of traveling. To get to Luzerne, I'm taking a train from Zurich HB or the main station. Okay, so I'm the train now. I won't be spending overnight in Luzerne. I'll just check out the spots and then go to Wengen later. The journey from Zurich HB to Luzerne only takes about 45 minutes. You can also stay either in Luzerne or Zurich and visit both places. Okay, so come to Luzerne. This is Luzerne. My backpack and my luggage are too heavy, so I have to store them at the locker station. According to the information, it's on platform 14, so I'm going to I'm going there now. Okay, found it. It's actually on platform 15, so these are the lockers where you can leave your luggage. Just have to pay. Okay, so to use this, you have to press the green button and then you can open it. Once you open it, you can already store the things inside. Close it. Close it, and then this you will be asked to pay here. So you have to have your card. I already paid and then I use my card and I just get a few or more. Okay guys, uh, so I have a lot of things. So this is what traveling entails. Such as all fun. Um, there are also inconvenience involved, but it's it makes traveling more uh, rewarding. So I'm at the Luzern station. I'm waiting here first. Uh, I bought this from the co-op in Zurich. So, yeah, so I just want to show you not just the fun sites. Uh, travel entails not just fun but also inconvenience. And I think that's part of the experience. Hi guys! So welcome to rainy Luzerne. So this is not what I imagined it would be. Of course, the sites would be very nice if it's sunny. But what can we do? This is part of the travel, it's part of the experience. And I'm supposed to go on a lake cruise today. But since it's uh, raining, I don't think I will be able to see anything. So I'll just cancel that. Lucerne is one of the most visited places in Switzerland. Unfortunately for me, it was so rainy and foggy when I arrived. On an ideal fine day, you would be able to enjoy Lucerne's beautiful lake setting including the nearby attractions such as Mount Rigi and Mount Pilatus. So our first stop in Luzern, this is Chapel Bridge. You haven't visited Luzern if you have never been to Chapel Bridge. Chapel Bridge forms the centerpiece of Luzern's townscape and it is considered to be one of the oldest covered wooden bridges in Europe. The paintings that adorn the bridge are also significant. Before the fire in 1993, 147 of the original 158 panels were still in existence. A major part of the bridge caught fire one night in 1993, and all that could be saved were the two bridgeheads and the water tower. The remainder of the bridge was rebuilt in a record eight months, allowing the new chapel bridge to be reopened on April 14, 1994. Okay, so I'm trying to go to the Museg Wall. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right, but it's a tower with an overlooking view. Unlike Zurich, there are limited transportation options within Luzerne. So I just followed Google Maps and walked from Chapel Bridge to the Music Wall. So the wall is up there. We have to climb up. The Music Wall and the nine Music Towers form part of Luzerne's fortifications. I visited the tower for free, but you can also book guided tours. I attempt to climb the tower again, but looking at the stairs, it's too steep. Okay. It's not yet done. There are more. 
worst theaters. So just rest a bit. I'm alone at the top. At the top. It's empty. Uh, the view will be better, of course, if it's not raining. But since it's raining, it's a little foggy. So I stayed here for a while. I'm still alone. And I thought of changing my plan. So instead of staying in Lucerne the full day, I might go to Interlaken already since it's raining anyway. Um, well, of course, it's okay to get to get disappointed since um, I've planned this for months. But at the same time, it should not hinder you from enjoying your future trip. After contemplating at the Musig Tower, I decided to go back to the old town to just walk around and check out the shops. At this street, you will find different high-end brands and watch shops. Because of the rainy weather, I decided to just abandon my original plan of visiting specific places and instead just walk around the town and enjoy whatever I can find. At this point, I found a city tour in what looks like a toy train and paid 15 francs. Hi guys, so change of plans. I'm supposed to do the lake cruise today, but since it's too rainy, I won't be able to see anything. And then we're walking, I saw this city tour, so it's like a train. Toy train for 15 francs, so I um, I bought a ticket and I don't know where it's going, but better than that, better than not do anything. Right? So the driver gave me the so this English channel. Because it was so rainy, many tourists who I think would otherwise just make a DIY tour boarded the train. This old style blue city train covers the city of Lucerne in just 40 minutes. It runs from April to October several times a day. The city train is perfect for this type of weather since it would allow you to look at different tourist attractions in Lucerne, both in the old town and new town, without getting wet. Using the headphones, you can also learn brief information about the tourist attractions, which is available in 16 languages. I was hoping that the weather would be better in the afternoon, but after the city tour, the rain was even harder. So I decided to just leave Luzern early and proceed to Wengen where I'll be staying for a few nights. I just grabbed some snacks at the train station before boarding the train to Interlaken Ost where I'll be making connections to Lauterbrunnen and to Wengen. Okay, so we're on our way to Interlaken. I just met Ion and Gian from traveling from Indonesia. Yes. Hi, so my new friend gave, <laughs> gave me this wall because I forgot mine at home. Thank you. From Luzerne, I took the Interlaken Express which is part of the Golden Pass line. The journey takes about two hours, but the view is spectacular. Hold on, wait for the morning till the sun comes. 
If you purchased a Burner Overland Pass, then this trip is included. To reach Interlaken, you will pass by Longern, Brunig, Meiringen, and Brins. Hi! So I have arrived here at Interlaken, Ost. So I'll just need to transfer to Lauterbrunnen and then to Wengen. So this is the train from Interlaken Ost to Lauterbrunnen. And from Lauterbrunnen I'll be transferring to Wengen. Lauterbrunnen, Ihre nächsten Anschluss bei Deck, Abfahrt, 17 Uhr, 30 Uhr. Okay, so from Lauterbrunnen, we're connecting to Wengen. So this is the train from Lauterbrunnen to Wengen. This is my last train for me. And I'll just walk to my hotel and rest. The view is wonderful in either side of the train. But when traveling to Wengen, Try to sit on the right side of the train to get the more scenic view of Lauterbrunnen. Make your loud and clear. Hi, so I'm now here at Wengen. Unfortunately, the weather is not okay. It's so foggy. It's supposed to have a nice view, so hopefully tomorrow it will clear up. The hotel that I booked has a spa and just a few steps away from the Wengen train station, so it's perfect. After a long day of walking with my heavy luggage, I finally checked in at my room for four nights here at Wengen in Switzerland. And I'm pleasantly surprised because the room is more spacious than I thought. I only booked for uh, a single room and then here, there are two beds here so it can accommodate up to two. Plus, the most important thing is the receptionist told me that my accommodation also includes dinner and not just breakfast. I didn't know that. So, you know, food is very expensive here in Switzerland. So that would be, that is a very nice addition. And more importantly, another thing, the view. Look at that. So this is the view. If you stay here at Arenas Resort, Victoria Lauberhorn, you can see the chapel over there. It's a little foggy now, but if not foggy, it would be perfect. The complimentary dinner was not written in my booking, so I was hesitant at first. But when I went down to the restaurant, I was ushered to a candlelit table. First dinner here at the hotel, and so far, I'm impressed. It's actually a candlelight dinner. The salad is buffet, but you have to choose the main course. For dinner, the salad station is open, but you have to choose your main course from the menu. If you want to order extra drinks such as wine or beer, you can also choose from the menu for a fee. I can confirm that I wasn't charged any extra fees for the dinner. I am so happy with my accommodation, so please watch my separate vlog on this hotel. So this is the end of day 3 of my trip here in Switzerland. It's been a long day, so from checking out in Zurich to Luzerne to Wengen, um, it's a tiring day, especially that I have a heavy luggage. So a re realization is you cannot control everything, even if you carefully plan your trip, things may go wrong. And that's fine, as long as you're safe, as long as the wrong is not about safety. For example, I didn't know that it's gonna rain because I planned it months in advance. And I came from a faraway country, so I don't know what it is like um, in September here in Switzerland. So it's part of the experience in traveling. It's not just going to be fun and pretty places or nice views. Um, it also includes the hardships of carrying your luggage, getting lost, missing trains, or rain, like the foggy view here in Wengen. This is not what I expected. I was expecting to see Lauterbrunnen from here, but that's fine. And also, there are ups and downs. So my up for today is the hotel. So I am pleasantly surprised by that the hotel is nice. I was expecting it's nice, but of course, um, since you only see it online, 
there are some instances that you may be disappointed and now i am overwhelmed so especially with the dinner and the big room and the spa so i'm going to close this day three with gratitude um for letting me be able to see the beauty of Wengen and of Switzerland. I've only been dreaming about this for so long. I'm only seeing this on Instagram, but now I'm here. And you can be here too. Thank you for watching the second part of my solo trip in Switzerland vlog. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and like this video. In the next episode, Join me as I go to Grindelwald.